In this video I will show how to set up Linrad for high visibility in the waterfalls uh, when using an RTL SDR dongle. Uh, first I go to the setup of the input which is now sound card and I will change it to the RTL SDR. So I press U and then I press U and then uh, A and H and there is only one dongle collected so that is auto selected. I set the highest possible sampling rate because this is a fast computer and higher sampling rates give better dynamic range. And then I select the tuner for input, zero. And I go for linearity mode. Uh, because that could help against uh, strong signals outside the band. I'm going to listen to two meters. And I don't need much bandwidth. Let's say B for 400 kilohertz. And this dongle has a fairly large frequency error that is 60 ppm, that is 60,000 ppb. And then I select an output, that's B, without port audio. And I use the default, which is zero, the motherboard speakers. And that's it. And then save. And I will go for normal CW mode. That is B. And there are no parameters, so I start from scratch. Press any key. And I have to press F10 to make the mouse visible. I just discovered that. Uh, the largest FFT size I can have is uh, 65536. That is a bandwidth of 73 hertz. That's not going to g give a very good uh, resolution in the waterfall. So I have to enable the second FFT. I put one here. to be able to use larger transform sizes. The dongle is 8 bits only, which means that the signal is about 256 times stronger than normal, because uh, there are only 8 significant bits, while normally there are at least 16, maybe more. So uh, I make this 10. to keep levels within reason. And then uh, I press enter to continue. Uh, second FFT bandwidth in powers of two. Uh, we have now 36 hertz and I want a high visibility, so I click here, and then I make this instead 4. Means a bandwidth of 10 hertz. This matches reasonably well uh, Morse coded signals. I want the transform to overlap to get better visibility, so I make this 4. And then uh, I don't really know uh, the details. I have to look at what the results will be now. Uh, bandwidth reduction in powers of two. It is now four. That means a factor of 16. Two megahertz divided by 16 that's 150 kilohertz. That is a very 
high uh, sampling rate for the bass band. I make this instead, uh, let's say, 9. And uh, I want here probably best will be to use a Gaussian window, so that is 8. And then enter, and here we are. Uh, the frequency I'm looking for SK4 MPI, so I feed in here 144. And the beacon should be at 144412, which well, it's about here. And this is the settings that comes as a default, because the default is not looking for very weak signals. Uh, I have to increase gain, first of all. Maybe this could be suitable. Uh, sorry, I forgot to enable the mouse to be visible. I was clicking here on the gain to increase the gain with this, uh, but as soon as I press the mouse the cursor disappears, stupid. So I have to press F10 to get it back. And I was here and brought these up because I don't want uh, red points on the noise floor. And maybe I have selected a little bit too much gain. I drop it one step like this. Uh, then I don't want to see as much of the spectrum as we have here. Uh, so I clicked... Uh, Frequency scale, here, click, and then I go here and say that the lowest frequency I want to see is, let's say, 144.3, uh, uh, And the highest, oops, enter, and the highest, uh, one, four, four, uh, point, four, two, five. So this is 50 kilohertz only. And then I click on apply here. And now we have a reasonable uh, frequency range. And I click here. Oops. I happened to push escape when I tried to turn the loudspeaker. We were on B. And I click this signal. And this should be SK4 MPI. And now uh, the idea with this video was to show high sensitivity waterfall. So I bring this up. This is contrast or waterfall gain and I make it let's say 4. Uh, and then averaging is very large. Uh, so 
it's a very slow waterfall. I make it a little bit less averaging. Let's say 10. No, 9. And then uh, I move the zero point. Here, let's say 25, perhaps. Well, that's too dark, so 23 then. So here we have a good visibility of uh, weak signals. Now that the beacon isn't very weak, really, uh, I can look at it in the second FFT in the spectrum. That's the high resolution graph which we have here. Uh, I change the averaging from 1 to, let's say, 27. And the gain is a little bit too high. And that is changed with this parameter. And I don't remember which direction to go. Maybe I put 495 here and have a look. Yes, that was the right way to go. So here I can see the spectrum surrounding the beacon. And then I can look at the beacon uh, with higher resolution in the baseband graph if I want to see weaker things. You can see these traces. Uh, I can increase gain here. Let's say 3. And then go up with this one to... 25 perhaps and this could be other beacons the antenna I have is really a very bad antenna it is about 10 meters of wire uh, at the end of a coaxial cable that is uh, maybe uh, 30 or 40 meters long that goes a, bis a distance away from the house into the garden and the wire is just from ground level up into a three, ten meters long, intended to listen to medium waves with. Uh, what more to say? I can expand this if I want to see really weak stuff. And if I lis listen, I click on the frequency of the signal, which is here. Sorry. If I click on the frequency of the signal, it was here. Then the signal moves to the center of the passband. And I can reduce the bandwidth. and turn out the loudspeaker. And you can see the signal. And you could see the keying sidebands and that the signal is reasonably well within the filter. I can make a sharper filter.
I expanded. I forget now and then to press F10 so you don't see exactly what I do with the mouse. Uh, the noise blanker is running, it removes 1% of uh, So this might give some, if I switch away the noise blanker, the difference is very small. I cannot say that I see anything. But this filter is too narrow. You can see the signal is drifting all the time. This is a situation where the AFC could be applied, but that's not the scope of this video. And to demonstrate visibility, I can press F7 and add noise. Oops. Only 8 bits of it and we cannot see that. Uh, okay, it's not for playing with the dongles. Uh, to degrade this, I will have to add attenuation instead. Now I have connected an attenuator, but it is on 0 dB attenuation. I have also changed a little bit on the uh, gain and uh, 0 points, these two as well as these two. And you can see the SK4 MPI beacon. Uh, and here you can see it at high resolution in the baseband. And the waterfall is rather slow and that of course uh, makes the sensitivity better. Uh, the signal is about, uh, let's say, from here to here. That's 20 decibels, but that is in a very narrow bandwidth. When we look at the carrier, it's at 65, while the noise is at 40. That is 25 decibels. Uh, but the bandwidth is just a few hertz. So I now insert 10, well, 20 decibels of attenuation. So now the signal is really weak. And the noise floor has changed because of the attenuator, so I have to change this parameter. Uh, F10, so you can see the mouse. I have to change this one, the zero point, maybe 26. Or 25.5 perhaps. And here you can it seems uh, I don't know 
I click something because here is where the signal should be. I just brought it up again with the attenuator and then down 20 dB. So here is where the signal is just in the noise. But in the baseband we should see it a little bit better, but it is slow, so it takes some time to see it. I changed the zero point from 25 to, let's say, 23. 2 decibels. And uh, the beacon is quite visible here. It's weak, but we can see it. And it goes up and down in QSB, of course. And in the baseband, with a much higher resolution, uh, we can see it here. But I cannot hear it anymore. This is significantly below the noise, so it's absolutely impossible to decode this. <coughs> but it's visible here, and it's visible here, of course, also better. One of the things I've changed is the scale. The high resolution graph here with the red db scale it shows one pixel one bin per pixel <coughs> so uh, you can see here well i have to make the graph a little bit wider here you can see that one kilohertz is from here to here and I have one kilohertz the same uh, number of pixels in the main waterfall it means the waterfall is uh, made with one uh, bin per pixel that maximizes the sensitivity And uh, it's quite clear that you can see the beacon here much better than you can see it here. Or maybe a little better. And of course, if I made averaging uh, bigger, then the waterfalls would run slower, but one could see weaker signals and uh, what we see here is well below what I can hear so I will uh, reduce the speed uh, switch off the recording and then start it again when some time has elapsed Now, quite some time has elapsed, and you can see the trace of the beacon, both in the main waterfall and in the baseband waterfall. The signal is weak, really weak, far below what could be copied, but certainly we can see it in the waterfall with no problem. 